my brethren, the year is coming to an end, and there are only two more months. So what are you doing in life? You know that there's something that a lot of people sometimes do and end up losing blessings in their life, and then they end up in misery as well. It is written in Proverbs 17, 5. Whoever mocks the poor shows contempt for their maker. How can God bless this person who mocks? Ah, you are a poor man. You have nothing in life. Don't do that. It's very possible that that person will have a lot of things yet. Yeah, it's something that is lacking in the word for that person to thrive. Whoever gloats over disaster will not go unpunished. Ah, see that? He went to live there and broke his face, lost everything. No, don't do it. Don't go into these things. God doesn't like that thing. Take a look at this testimony. For 12 years, I have had labyrinthitis, and depending on my mood, it gets even worse. I can't even read a book, especially when I have to travel. I like to read on the bus. Today, I was very dizzy on the way here, you know. And then when you prayed, the first thing you spoke about was labyrinthitis. And then, with a lot of faith that I would be healed, I shook my head like this. I was even undergoing treatment, but I'm feeling good now. Glory to, Glory God. to God. No, I shook so my head a lot. So bend down now for us to see. If you fall, you're by yourself, sister. Are you better now? A lot better. Glory <laughs> to God. Now I want to pray with you, Father. We don't want to mock the poor. God, we must never rejoice in calamity. On the contrary, we want to be people who bless. And I want to be that person now, and I make use of the authority that you have given to me. In the name of Jesus, I say, evil, get out of this life. Go away, never to return. In the name of Jesus, and you say, I believe. So be blessed in the name of Christ and amen.